Hello and welcome back everybody to the next episode of Project Ozone 3. In today's episode we are going to go to the nether. Or at least that's what I wanted to. But then I found out of course to get to the nether we need those nether cakes and to get the nether cake we need a normal vanilla cake. And for that of course we do need milk and eggs. Now to get milk we would need cows. To get cows we need a spawning area. Uh, since we are waiting very long for animals to spawn on this platform over here I would say I'm going to make this a little bit bigger since it seems like it seems like the platform is way too sp small and nothing can spawn on it so I would say a 6x6 six six area for the moment should be okay and in the meantime the grass is spreading and hopefully animals are spawning that means while we are waiting for that for the en for the animals to spawn i would like to get uh, to get some sort of lava tank or uh, some sort of automated lava production for that i thought it would be a good idea to use a mechanism tank uh, which the basic fluid tank is pretty easy to craft you only need four iron and four redstone and this is going to be for our first little one two three four our first little tank to get our lava production ready here we go that's the basic tank that's wonderful now of course as we know if we want to make that work we need another cobblestone generator and to get that uh, it should actually not be that hard cobblestone generator tier 1 now where's the tier 1 here it is I need one glass then cobblestone one lava and one water bucket uh, now let's see, we should have enough buckets. Uh, where, are, where are they? Alright, one is over here. And I honestly thought I would have more of them, but it doesn't seem like that. One, two, three. So what we are going to do is... Eh? One, two, three. So what we are going to do is we are going to craft another bucket. Oh come on, I forgot. How can we craft a bucket? We need a bucket. For a bucket we need iron plates. To get iron plates we need the... Ah, we can use the crushing table. Alright. So it is not a problem at all. Let's take our hammer. Let's put one of our ingots inside of that. And now here we go, let's craft our iron plates. And now by using the iron plates we should have no problem to craft the bucket. Wonderful, that means now we let's get a water bucket. Then next thing is going to be the lava bucket. Okay, right ahead, the glass in the middle. Now I don't remember if we lose the bucket, I hope not. Wonderful we kept both of them now of course the tier 1 um, cobblestone generator is not going to be enough that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 iron ingots let's put our cobblestone generator in the middle surrounded by the iron and we get our cobblestone generator tier 2 for the tier 3 we already need for the tier 3 we already need a lot of diamonds that is and going to be another thing that we are going to do today which is going to be we are going to sieve all of our gravel and sand hoping that we get iron uh, that we get diamonds now of course if we want to get the lava out of the crucible into the tank we need some fluid ducts okay now i changed my mind actually it's a better idea to go with the fluid ducts from Ender IO since they are going to be more useful in future and now we have to say that it's also a little bit easier to craft 
that means we only th we need sand, gravel and clay we should have some clay left that's perfect since we don't need a lot right now uh, 24 that's perfect now we are going to smelt them all right now let's put our furnace over here and our conduit binder we also need this quite clear glass and to get that we simply need to put glass into the alloy smelter and I saw, I, I saw that we have an easier version of the alloy smelter we only need some cobblestone because we do need two furnaces then two gears oh how can I craft the gears I thought those would be like that uh, wait a moment stone gear oh just one in the middle all right so here we do have two stone gears oh that's gravel no we don't want gravel so here we have two furnaces two stone gears one iron bucket we need one iron bucket we have that too and we only need three iron which is not pro no, no problem at all and one simple machine case for that we need more iron now I think we do have some of those iron bars we should have some of those iron bars left if I do remember right but I'm not quite sure alright so I was wrong we do not have we do not have any of those iron bars left already maybe we didn't even have had them that means we're going to put like this surrounding by iron and then in the middle we should get grains, grains of infinity and to get that we, sh we simply need to put bedrock on fire and I have to say fortunately I know that beneath us there is one red uh, redstone one a bedrock block to take all and here we have our bedrock now I actually don't know exactly how it works I would say I'm simply going to put that on fire and then I'm going to wait if something is spawning and that's exactly what we need to do and here we are and that's an advancement too what kind of regular or from the advancement group no it's regular but here we go we do have our machine case we need two furnaces two of those our bucket and then three iron ingots and that should be enough to get our smell our simple alloy smelter done uh, that means now the only thing left is grabbing our glass and of course we do need of course we do need energy alright guys so now I searched a little bit and of course the simple alloy smelter do does need energy uh, that means since the solar panel from solar Frux is another quest we are going to do that because I also saw that this is not that difficult that means we should be able to do that pretty easy we just need one redstone we need five oak wood then we need some glass uh, we need one more glass which we are going do we have them here oh no those are the binders I'm going to put yeah 14 glass to smelt because we are going to need that anyway then we need three iron oh and that was an advancement too uh, that um, the how is it called conduit pine anyway now we do have our uh, three glass ready that means with this we can craft oh we get three directly that's perfect that means that was it so simple the first solar panel is ready now we should get our quest complete that's perfect we put our solar panel on the simple alloy smelter and we should see this is loading now of course uh, we put three 
this is going to work pretty slowly because one solar panel is not going to make enough energy at all but anyways it works and for the moment that's the important thing all right so that means while we are waiting that the alloy furnace is finishing I would say I am going to see if I'm going to see if all of those materials hoping that we can find a lot of diamonds oh we have also that a lot of diamonds a lot of stuff because we would like to upgrade our cobblestone generator that means let's go and here we go back again now of course as the luckiest person on this planet I did get only two only two diamonds which is actually pretty sad since yeah with all the stuff I had to see if the only thing we got were t was the only things we got was two diamonds of course we got a lot of ores but we were looking especially for diamonds that means it's pretty frustrating but anyway what should we say we cannot change we cannot say what to get and it's like that that means the diamonds we need to wait and work harder to get more diamonds uh, for the moment but we do have a lot of other stuff a lot of other ores from lorium to zinc to gold to iron to osmium to copper we got a lot of stuff now we really have enough for a long time or for a long time yeah as usually for the first periods of the game we are placed very good unfortunately of course we have no animal spawned yet oh come on really oh no this is still processing all right so we need to wait a little bit more until that's ready and as you can see we have only three diamonds but we should actually have four since I have one over here all right but anyway that's way too less I would wonder if there's any other possibility how to get to get iron yeah with the point a percentage of drop chance with iron stiffed mesh I can understand pretty well that we did get only two of them oh come on yeah anyway we cannot change that but what we can do is getting our reward for this solar panel now I would wonder if we can craft also the other one for the other we need one pistons and seven more solar panel tier one which should not be that hard but we are not going to do that today we are going to do that in the next episode hoping that for the next episode we get some animals to spawn and that we can craft our cake and travel to the nether but first of all let's get our conduit our conducts ready our three quite clear grass are ready we do get our fluid conduits now in the next episode we are going to try to craft also the item conduit from en from Ender IO. We didn't manage to do this. We didn't manage to do this in today's episode since the stuff we made, the things we crafted took us a long time because they were for the point of the mod pack where we are, I would say they were pretty complicated. But anyway, nevertheless, we managed to do some nice things. Unfortunately, we didn't get any animals to spawn. Uh, I don't know, maybe I am too near. Uh, maybe those are not 25 blocks, but we are going to find out. We are hoping that in the next episode something is going to spawn. And until then, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed watching, you know how it is. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any further videos. And thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.